Bow, man. We back at it with another one, man. You know what the fuck is going on, man. We gonna get straight into it, man. Shout out to Playback, man. Let's see what the fuck they talk. What the fuck they talking about? Not dating trans woman equals transphobic. Oh my god, bro. Okay, if you date men, do you have any red flags you look for in them, and what are they? One, if he refers to women as females exclusively. Nah, dead ass. That's a come on, come on. Two, if he says he's not a feminist. Three, if he says he wouldn't date anyone darker than him. Four, if he believes in or cares about the concept oh of God. a body count. Five, what we, if he yo, I swear, women. we have these conversations, the the same like four or five things she just fucking said, bro. I'm tired of this shit, bro. This be only this is the only shit y'all could talk about, bro. This is it. This is it. Everything. Eleven. If he doesn't know the difference between there, there, and there, if he doesn't know the difference between. <laughs> nah, that was funny. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not, I wasn't jacking at first, but she threw a little joke in there, because that, this, this is funny. This is, this is obviously a joke. Come on. Hey, yo. Niggas put the womp womp. Hey, yo. Playback about to get canceled. I know, I know, I know, I know. Some of these things, though, are like, why are you in a relationship with a grown man who doesn't understand the difference between there and there? And there. Nah, that's a joke. Gotta be. Yeah. 13, if he says he What the fuck? 13? Hold on. And this is the 13th reason? Yo, y'all bitches is... Excuse me. Y'all look... What? What's wrong with y'all? And woman. Like for part two. Like for part two. So are you... Are you uh, no. Trans woman? No. No. Oh, how is that the same yeah, shit I'm about as to say everything she, else? She, I know. That's such a... That's a that should have actually been number one. <laughs> that should have been like the top of the list. The yeah, fact right, that you... There, there, there. Much, yeah, that, many. Yeah, and it was like... Also, she I have trans, a hard though. stance on trans women. Like, you got to be able to Date find them, them sexually. As I'm attractive. dating you. Why the fuck does it matter who anyone else is? Oh, is she bro. trans? Oh, maybe. That's she what I'm be, saying, bro. She might be trans. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's maybe why. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. That, that, actually, that was outlandish. That's like super left. Guy, that, that, should, that should be at the number one. Can't be a red flag yeah, if they're yeah. already dating you. Yeah, that, that should be number one, though. But are you... Do, do, or do you date trans? Would you date a trans woman? I'm not dating a trans woman. No, I'm not I probably wouldn't either. I'm not. I'm Unless they had like a great personality. No. Yeah, like like one of the homies, man, right? Okay. Not nah, like like great my, fire like, personality. Like, like your my best girl. friend. Like your homie. Hey, but everybody has their preferences. You can't come uh, exactly. to I'm not mad at having no preference. Yeah, Unless they not, say like personally not my preference. That that makes me transphobic. That's fucking crazy. Cause it's the same women who who say like, oh, I don't like dudes that are under five six. I don't go I don't then go say you're your man's phobic, like what, like you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. That's just that's not what they into, bro. And you can't. I feel like somebody now, if somebody express something to somebody who's trans in a way where it's like it, it comes off crazy, then it's like, all right, like you know what I'm saying, over, over, overly homophobic or just extra as hell. All right, cool. Maybe you you can say whatever you want, whatever the case may be. If somebody just simply be like, nah, I'm not interested, and you're like you're transphobic, bro. I feel as though, since we dragging it, I feel like that's coercion. You're trying to coerce me into changing my mind, and you're doing it with, you're doing it with a malicious intent. But just because I rejected you, you're trying to come off like, oh yeah, he's a he's transphobic or he's homophobic. Yo, bro, what? And then now, now it kind of put me in this box where it's like, damn, I can't even have my own opinion if I'm not with you. That's what I don't jack, bro. Cause if it's the other way around, niggas is looking at y'all. Y'all wouldn't y'all wouldn't like that shit. Is what I'm saying, bro. Just let let people have their preferences. Now, if they over if they violate, that's another thing. But if somebody just be like, nah, I'm not interested. So, all right, cool. That's it. You go on. Niggas get rejected every day, b. <laughs> niggas don't then turn around and be like, oh, you're this phobic or you're that. Eh, fuck out of here, my nigga. Y'all niggas bugging out. Like, ew, Hot that take. person's nasty and disgusting, and they're the worst. Then, like, that's kind of phobic, what right? Yeah, you feel me? Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, if I simply just be like, nah, I'm good. Like, I'm not interested. Like, I'm not ODing. Like, well, I got to be, come on, son. Y'all be, y'all just be dragging shit to, to, to one gaslight and for two to, because y'all be embarrassed, bro. Like, like y'all don't, women don't know how to take rejection. People don't know how to take rejection. If you're a dude, you have to take rejection 90% of the time, bro. And that's not just with just talking to women. That's just with a lot of things in life, bro. You take rejection. 
But you gotta be willing to bounce back, and that's just how this shit go, bro. So fuck out of here. Oh, they people. Oh my god, people yeah. do out of time. That's what I'm So what are we saying? Like, yes. so are women like short it's, man phobia? Yeah, they obviously they're yeah. they're or or like ugly man phobia. Ew. Or oh, broke man shit. phobia. Right. Amount of women I heard just say ew as a reaction to looking at a guy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So <laughs> like, what are we saying? <laughs> so are money. they? What are they? What are <laughs> they? Like, it's, like, there's a phobia towards that as well. Like, I don't get that. They just don't no. like to keep it both ways. I know. No. Come on now. That's it. The transphobia in my comment section needs to stall. Yesterday, I posted a TikTok responding to this question. What are the red flags you look for in men? And one of them was if you wouldn't date a trans woman. Red flag. And my mm. comment section? Can I read one of them? Yeah, let's read, let's read it. What's wrong with not wanting to date a trans woman? It's his choice. And to her, that's transphobic. That's transphobic. That's transphobic. Got that's it. Good. I just don't understand why force it. Like, why, why force it? If, I could, if, you, if you could say, like, you don't want to date a short man and, and we just go, all right. Yeah, then facts. It's just a preference. That's it's it. Phobia. Exactly. I don't assume that's you're afraid it, of short bro. Men. And that's the part I have a problem with, bro. It's like, it's like niggas is trying to coerce or, or like, like push, not even, I don't want to say push beliefs, but just like push this net, this, this, this on to somebody, and it's like, yo, bro, if I was to do that to a woman, it would be such a problem. But why is it okay for the trans community or the LGBT community or anybody to be allowed to do some shit like this? I don't think nobody should be able to. If a woman says, like, no, I'm not interested, personally, I'd say, cool. I believe in mutual interest. I walk away, bro. I don't go, I don't then go, you're man's phobic, you're broke phobic, or you're this, what, bro? Niggas is not doing that, bro. So cut it out. That should be getting me tight, bro. I don't assume. I'd be crazy if they like if, if 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 you were like, yo, bro, I want to date men to have good hygiene. I want to be like, what? So you're dirty nigga phobic? Yeah, I'd be like, like okay, you just like, now, but now like, it's right, not cool. like you're comparing trans people to dirty niggas. Nah, and then that's another thing. Else. Yeah. Tall people. Sure. Some, some men, men don't like dating anymore. tall women. Yeah. For whatever reason. I don't understand that. Or some that men don't like dating women that make more bread than them. So it's like everybody has their preference. I'm not exactly, comparing. Exactly, bro. It's just preference. Why is a preference like in it's a, question it's, nowadays? It's just becoming like We're debating issue. whether or not niggas, anybody should really just have a choice of a preference. I want to hear her explanation. When the people who exercise it the most. I know, right? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. It's y'all. Yeah. Matter of fact, you you exercise preferences so much so that you just basically made a list of things that you prefer to have in a man. Bro. Bro, I don't... I, I'm going to go back to what he said. They don't like the, the shit being evenly distributed. Because if we, if niggas was to turn around or men was to turn around and say or do some of the shit, niggas would be like, oh. Now, then it becomes a, oh, you're sassy. Oh, niggas want to be like females. And it's like, yo, bro, niggas, like, niggas could do no right, basically. Isn't that the title of this shit? Nah, okay. Not dating the trans. Like, I feel like niggas could do no right, bro. And it's, cr it's crazy to me. But yeah, let's, let's, let's see what else you got to say, man. Cause I'm already, I'm it's basically what off. you just did. That's how much preference that you have. Yeah. So if the nigga doesn't know how to, you know, grammatically use the word there, you're, you're phobic. You're, you're phobic. Nah, that's you're mad funny, niggas? bro. That's what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> that's I'm mad funny. Maybe they didn't have a good upbringing. Maybe they went to a bad school system. You're, you're a Lydia nigga phobia. You get the idea. I can't put them all because there's too many. <laughs> Let me oh, break wow. this down. Trans women are women. So if you're heterosexual and you're a man and you said you wouldn't date a trans woman because it's a preference. That's just transphobia, period. The majority of the time, our preferences are rooted in something problematic. It could be trauma, racism, transphobia. The list goes on. If you want to find out what your problematic preferences are, there's no, no way she. <laughs> in just 36 weeks, Universal Technical Institute can train you for a career in welding. If you like. Man. There's no way she promoted a YouTube video. Yeah, her own like, bro, the that. same thing, bro. Tall women are also still women. There are several men who have preferences not to date tall women. Um, Asian women are also a preference, but there's a bunch of bro, I just I just don't I don't get the argument, bro. I don't get the argument. I feel like I feel like this is get back. This whole discussion of if you don't date a, a trans woman, you're you're transphobic. I feel like this is a get back for all the years of of people being homophobic or people just not preferably being openly gay or being or, or or showing affection to the significant other who's gay or undercover or whatever the case may be because it's like why is it such a problem when a nigga just is like I'm not interested in in, in somebody who, a, a woman who's who's a trans who's who's trans like I just I, like nobody has been able to fully explain the situation like niggas is not saying trans women are not women that is a whole nother conversation and I, and I don't personally particularly care to take because I'm not that I'm not that involved. I don't 
know what I'm saying? Like, the shit really doesn't... The shit that, what they eat don't make me shit. What I eat don't make them shit. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't, I don't care enough to even have that discussion. But to say... To say, like, yeah, trans women or women, okay. <laughs> okay. No, I don't... I still don't want to date you. What, like, what the, what the fuck? That makes me a bad person? Like, huh? This shit is ridiculous, bro. White, black, Hispanic men who don't necessarily prefer Asian women. Like, that's exactly, very, bro. very common. So, it, even if we agree, this concept that, like, as a man, if you're heterosexual, you like women, you have to now like all women? You can't it's have a, prefer, a preference to it's pick crazy. what type of woman that you want to be. And then, you know, it's crazy. Y'all run, no... run behind niggas and be like, niggas are fucking anything. Nigga, a, a, dude, a dude with some preference, a dude with a preference, or a dude with some class, or a dude with some morals who was not willing to put his stick in anything and everything, is now, like, it's, yeah, it's too finicky, bro, flip floppy. Like, bro, bare wickedness, bro. Like, bare wickedness. A nigga do this, nah, it's no good. A nigga do that, nah, no good. Like, pick, bro, pick and stay on that side. He doesn't like women. He doesn't. He doesn't like every single woman. He may not like tall women. That doesn't mean he doesn't like all women. He just have a preference. He doesn't necessarily like a, a woman that's taller than him. He doesn't like a woman. That, it's cool. That's fine. Just be like, all right, cool. You're not the nigga. You're not the man for me. Why then turn around and try to make him the man for you when he already expressed to you that he's not interested? I think mental illness. I start thinking that. I'm not gonna lie. No sense. That's basically what she's saying. You're straight. You like women. All women have to be on the table for you. She then, is point. slightly correct, and I think some people's preferences is rooted in yes, some fucked up Yes, that's true shit. too. From time to time, that could be true too. Negate two two things can be true at the same time, but to generalize the whole situation, like ah yeah, all if you, like all y'all don't like them, then y'all trans. What? Some dude like it was it was the Glock. I said this in a previous video. Glock Nine had a video where he was like. What they asked him about him being with dark skinned women, he was like, "Nah, I don't want no, I don't want no bitch darker than me." And like, he's like, "Whoa, what you mean by that?" He's like, "I don't want, I don't want to have a dark baby because I, I grew up black as hell. I don't want my kid to be black as hell." Niggas looked at him like, "Like, do you hear how ignorant you sound?" And that's deeply rooted in him in self hate, and probably some other serious problems that I'm not, a, I'm not a therapist, so I wouldn't know how to diagnose or I wouldn't try to self diagnose that nigga. But that is something wrong there, and that's. Deeply rooted in his in his upbringing, so yes, some people have those kind of those kind of childhood traumas or traumas in general, and then that in that intensifies or that is never resolved when they get older, so it gets worse, and they start and those and now those things or those preferences are now the reason why they choose what they choose, and it's not help. That's not healthy. I agree with that. Back there. Like preferences. So preference. That's dating. If you didn't have any preferences, then you could just pick somebody down the street right there and be like, that's my person forever. But you have preferences. Maybe you want someone that's the same Variety culture as you, the same religion as you. Yes. Those are all preferences. If I date someone that's Muslim, it's not because I'm Christian phobic. It's just that person would most likely just meet whatever fuck I'm looking for. Yeah, bro, not right understanding right. preferences and me having to sit down and explain that's that to a person saying, in 2022. This is a you trying to illness, sit down and bro. pretend like all preferences are rooted in some sort of phobia is dumb. Maybe it's some crazy. of it is. Fuck but don't. then just present it like that. If I don't want to date a woman because she's a trans woman, that doesn't mean that I hate trans people at all. Exactly. That's, you not, don't like trans women. Don't. That's not I my don't hate preference. Nobody. Maybe I need to be more specific now. I want to date women that were born women. Cis, cisgender women. Oh, that was called? That's, that's yeah, cisgender. That's just crazy. They got terms for everything now. Everything, I bro. Catch up on the, on everything. The, on the, on the, the vocabulary. On the woke lingo, man. Yeah, man. I, I didn't know about that one. one. Uh, vernacular. It just doesn't make any sense because she literally clearly has a preference herself. Exactly. 13 of them. But nobody cares about that. So you have a preference. You mean you have a preference. I don't know why you think that it's just and okay to outline your preference, but then tell a nigga that he can't have his preferences. That makes no sense. If you wouldn't feel comfortable walking out your door, picking the first man you see, and spending the rest of your life with... Man, that's another thing, bro. I'm telling you, they just don't want to be even. But this this, this is a great point, bro. Even She literally made 13... <laughs> damn, uh, damn near 13 reasons or damn near 13 preferences on, on red flags, and that's fine. But a dude ha and a dude, but a dude cannot have no preferences. Nigga has to do and say what? Come on, son, cut the bullshit out, man. Cut it out, man.
then come on, in man. In whatever type of relationship you My prefer, nigga was then you are technically phobic of something by yes. your own logic. Thank you. Which is pretty dumb. That's I am now going retarded. to take you all through an example. This person asked why it's transphobic to not want to date a trans woman. Already okay. starting off on the wrong foot by referring to cis women as regular women. Then says something about trans women not being able to carry children. If that's your sole reason for dating someone, keep that same energy for all the women who are infertile. What? <laughs> Yo, first of all, some men do. Unfortunately, I'm gonna say, I mean, for for a lot of, a lot, not even men, a lot of people in general, they want to have kids. So that would, un, as as unfortunate as it may sound, that would be a difference maker for a lot of people if you cannot have children. Like, what are we talking about? That's a very common man. I'm, what the? F what do you want? I want a job that I don't hate. Fuck. The the reality is that that doesn't oh, get talked about enough. Maybe. <laughs> Because that's not a common thing. I love how, again, just it's just so weird to me when people make bad arguments. They use like this very unique exception, like to justify time, their bro. argument. Mm -hmm. But like yeah. every time, bro, and it never fucking ceases to amaze me, bro. It never ceases to amaze me, bro. Like, come on. Like, for, like, I'm saying, right? It's, it's, it should just be funny at this point, girl. Because this conversation continuously gets, I feel like, recycled. And then we all come to the same conclusion at the end of the, at the, end of the tunnel, bro. This is some bullshit. This is some, this is some straight bullshit, bro. Like, having dating preferences does not make you a bad person. If your dating preferences are rooted in self-hate or something else, yes. If... If you... If, if you... If you don't fix those problems, excuse me. If you don't fix those, that... that that history or that trauma, does that make you a bad person? Not necessarily because you may not be able to identify it. Now, if you didn't identify it and then say, no, fuck it, I don't care, this is what it is, then, bro, fuck it, bro. Like, be, you should be able to date who you want, bro. If you if you can't decipher between that, go to a therapist. I think all people need therapy, not just black people, not just white people. I feel like everybody in America <laughs> needs therapy to a degree. If, if it's not daily, maybe weekly, maybe whatever the case, but monthly, whatever the case may be, but bro, come on, bro. I think it's bugging out. Yeah, you're using a, a small portion of women who are infertile. However, <laughs> those women, yes, if you probably ask them, they probably have a hard time finding men because they yes. are infertile. Infer like, yes. That's also That's a thing. thing. What are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> so you, just because there's another example of I feel like I'm saying too much. Is it? It's just so. It's just common sense. That's why I'm kind of like stuttering up and saying something Come like. Come on, man! It's did you sense. think through your argument, or you just wanted to she shit out another no. TikTok? See if it will bang. Yeah. First yeah. of all, these are my red flags. Your preferences. Your preferences. Yes. Yeah. So if you don't like them, you can just leave. That's Secondly, <laughs> I love how they're acting like I only date men. <laughs> I don't really think y'all are the only options out here. Yeah, these things are gonna get canceled. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, most people would agree with your first twelve. Yes. Your last one. No. That's that's the one that everybody was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, she did have me about ten eleven in. <laughs> And then the last one felt like a whoopsie <laughs> daisy. That's why it feels like it's an extreme high. But again, you call it you track with logic because you're contradicting the thing, the exact thing you're saying. Literally. You're just using different words and terminology. First of all, these are my red flags. What you have is- Yeah, we're gonna stop that right there. Literally, these are my preferences is what she just basically said. But you know, I digress, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Apparently, man or woman, if you date, if you don't date a, a transgender, you're transphobic. Who would've knew? So, uh, yeah, you probably should go to the site, figure out what's wrong with you because any other any other options, you're not right in the mind. So, there's that. But, man, I'm going to go ahead and answer this, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. More videos on the way, man. Share this with your aunt. You feel me? I'm her favorite side, nigga. Word. Bow. We out of here, man.